Welcome friends, James Corbett here from CorbettReport.com in the sunny climes of Western Japan, just taking a moment out of today's podcast episode, which I'm currently creating on AIG, to talk about a story that's going viral right now, both in the alternative and the mainstream media, but unfortunately for the wrong reasons, with some wrong facts being reported, and I want to set the record straight so people don't go off half-cocked with incorrect facts, because of course those can be used to slap you in the face later to say, hey, look, you were incorrect, you were wrong, you're a paranoid conspiracy theorist. So let's take a look at this story, which, as I say, is going viral right now, and it sources back at least to this CBS News article, which has gotten quite a bit of traction. It says, GM grass linked to Texas cattle deaths. And if you read on, it talks about how this GM grass has been off-gassing cyanide, and the cattle have been eating it and dying. So this is obviously a pretty strange phenomenon and pretty scary. And it sources back to this Tifton 85 strain of grass. Well, one little problem about this Tifton 85, which they claim is GM grass. Well, in fact, in reality, oh, the, uh, the grass is not genetically modified. Well, I'll let you go and read through this article. I'll link this up. It has its sources back to Texas AgriLife a and etc., talking about the creation of Tifton 85 back in the 1980s, how it's a regular hybrid. It has nothing to do with GM technology. And I just want to stop people from spreading false information about this story because, unfortunately, as I say, when we spread false information, that can be used to, uh, to basically slap us in the face later and say, you paranoid conspiracy theorists, you don't even know what that's what Tifton 85 isn't GMO at all. Ha ha ha. So there are, of course, as my listeners will no doubt know, many good reasons to be very, very concerned about the GMO agenda. And perhaps you'll be familiar with books like this one, The Seeds of Destruction by F. William Engdahl, an excellent book detailing a lot of this uh, very strong information about why GM technology is a bad agenda, and there are definite reasons to be worried about it. And uh, for more on that, you can go to CorbettReport.com, of course, and you can just type GMO into the search bar here, and you'll get tons and tons of work that I've done in the past radio episodes and interviews and videos, etc., that I've done in the past on GMO, documenting all of the various reasons why GMO uh, monstrosities are something that we don't want. But as I say, once again, you don't want to go half-cocked promoting things that are not true. This Tifton 85 grass that is apparently off-gassing the cyanide gas is not uh, GM at all, so we shouldn't be propounding it like it is. So once again, just uh, be careful what stories that you put out virally and uh, always check the sources and always check into information instead of just believing these knuckleheads in the mainstream media who were always deriding. Why would we believe them just because they write a headline saying GM grass? That doesn't make it so. So once again, think for yourself, investigate sources for yourself. On that note, I'm going to be back later today on CorbettReport.com with a very interesting podcast episode on AIG, obviously audio only. I hope you'll be there to download it. Talk to you later.